Hey everyone, Geek Girl here, and this is a Geek Girl Quickie. Let's see, what should we call this episode? I think it should be episode 5.1, Flip Camera Fun. Alright, so basically, I wasn't planning on doing a video podcast tonight, but my friend and neighbor Bob, also a co-worker, um, asked me a question today, and he's going to be coming over in a little while for me to show him how to do something, and I thought to myself that this something must be such a common question for all of you out there. I even had this problem myself when I first got my little flip camera uh, that I figured I'd answer it for all of you guys and hopefully help a lot of people all at once while I'm helping my friend and neighbor Bob. So this podcast is mostly going to apply to Mac users, but I really think that the principles of it, once you understand it, apply to anyone, Mac or PC, using any sort of a device that stores information on any sort of a memory card that connects to via, connects via USB drive. Okay, so let's get started. You have your little flip cam and you have your little flip cam. Timing is everything, people. <laughs> that didn't happen when it was supposed to. Anyway, you have your little flip camera and you record something. So here's the Geek Girl podcast being recorded. Here's Geek Girl computer. Geek Girl computer. Geek Girl geek gear. <laughs> Alright, so I'm done recording and I turn it off and I decide that I want to get this from my flip cam to my computer. So I read the manual that comes with my little flip cam and I find out, oh my gosh, the software that comes with it only works on PCs. What to do? Do I have to throw this away or give it away or sell it on eBay or re-gift it? None of the above, people. Here's all you need to do. So you're going to take this and you're going to plug it into your Mac and the USB drive on the side. So the same thing you would do for PC. Okay. Once it's plugged in, what's going to happen is your computer is going to read it and recognize it as a removable drive. Remember back in our Geek Girl Hubba 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 episode where I showed you that you don't have to plug your camera directly into your computer to download pictures? Instead, what you could do is use a card reader well, this is the same principle and idea. So you're going to plug your flip camera or whatever device you're using into your Mac and it's going to show up on your desktop like a removable drive. And you're going to double click on that drive, which I'm doing right now, and I'm going to do a little screen grab for you that's going to show you what pops up inside my little uh, drive. And I'll insert that right here. You should see that right now. Um, okay, once that pops up and you double click on it to open it, Look inside and you're going to see a whole bunch of files that mean nothing to you. You're not going to know what they are, they're going to have funky extensions, but you will also, or you should also see a couple of folders. Now on my flip camera, uh, the folder that I want to go to is called DCIM, all capital letters, DCIM. Look for something that's similar to what your digital camera drive looks like when you plug that into your computer because they're all based on the same thing, capturing video or capturing stills uh, uses kind of the same types of folders. So keep double clicking and going through and exploring your folders until you get to a folder level that contains files that look like movie files. In this instance, my files are .avi files and those are pretty common uh, video files, but you could have .mov files or .wmv files or .mpeg2 files or .m4v files, whatever it is that your device creates, that is the type of file that you're looking for. So basically what we're doing here is we are going to the base level and finding the raw video file that was recorded on your device. And you simply just grab it and you drag it to your desktop and you check it out. Let's see if I got the right one. There we are. Yep, that's it. And what I'll do is I'm going to insert this here for you guys so you can see when I was recording myself and recording this. And you'll see how easy it really, really is. So here's the Geek Girl podcast being recorded. Here's Geek Girl computer, geek girl, computer, geek girl, geek gear. <laughs> All right, so I'm done recording. Wow, that was easy, wasn't it? You're done. I actually did it for you here in real time. I recorded something, I plugged it into my computer, I dragged off the files, and I've got it here. Boom, done. That was real time, people. Oh, the magic of technology. That's why I love being geek girl. Now here's another tip. Actually, this isn't even really a tip, it's a must. If you're using a Mac, any type of a device that you plug in that pops up like a drive, you have to eject before you remove it from your computer. Now, I think on most PCs, you can just in 
put your iPod in and just pull it out without ejecting it, or you could do the same thing with your card readers, not on Macs. Because the way that Macs read drives is different from the way PCs do. They have different actual drivers, which are things inside of your computer that tell it how to read whatever device gets plugged into it and how to recognize it and how to deal with the data. Uh, because of this reason, on Macs, you have to eject. <laughs> If you have any other questions about anything that I showed you guys here, please feel free to email me at geek.girl at earthlink.net or you can post in the comment section on the blog here below. Go ahead, have discussions amongst yourselves. I go in there, I answer questions and comments there as well. So keep those questions coming. And the next podcast you guys are going to see is going to be on the actual Geek Girl backdrop. This was just a quickie because I was so inspired with the ease and simplicity of how you can actually adapt this to work even if you don't have the proper software that came with it. All right, everyone. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Cheers.